All right, everyone, we're back um, after multiple attempts between latency, lag, and server crash, and uh, a cat that decided to interrupt and ruin everything. Uh, we are going to do a video here on the maneuvering of your modules. So this is an airlock here. It will be our little uh, test guinea pig here. So um, this is the bottom side. What we're looking for is an exterior port that's called a uh, docking panel. So we're going to flip over this here. And we're going to lower ourselves down onto here. That's the part we're looking for. We're gonna go into it, slow ourselves down. We don't like to try to use that RCS because that ruins immersion, but left shift, or you can use the RCS. All right, so this is your main view for what you see for the docking. Um, the bottom left, you're gonna see your module, uh, you'll see airlock docking port A and standard docking A. You can switch this by hitting R and it will change that overlay. You'll notice this one's just a camera while this one has an overlay of, a, um, of an octagon on it. Um, this is the one that you really need to use in order to dock. Using the other side of it, this side, if you try to dock to something, we'll just bump that object outside. So we're going to be using this side here. Um, what I'll probably do, though, is use it to try to find the other object right here. And I'll tell you why I'd use that instead of the other thing. All right, so now that we're right here, so you'll see at the bottom right there, you're gonna see modules in range. Um, you can change this, um, I'll switch the other one. You can change this by holding down T and using your mouse wheel. You'll see that it switches between them. Um, this is important once you start bringing other modules to your main hub. Um, like in my Let's Play on it, 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 it was a nightmare trying to get these all docked. So that allows you to switch it. Um, what we're going to do next is um, at the bottom um, right, you'll also see standard docking port A and B. This can be switched by your left and uh, right mouse clicks and switching between them so that you can choose where you want to dock this object at. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this object here as a little reference. Um, left shift will stop our, our uh, movement of our camera here like this. So we'll stop it. But what we we'll mainly want to do is use it to rotate. So we're going to use this and we're gonna flip ourselves as best as possible on this same axis. So we're flipping ourselves. So now that we're doing that, we'll switch to the other camera and we're gonna wait for it to come into view. Um, it's a little bit easier with the other camera because you don't have so many overlays and things to try to find it. So there it is. We'll come bring it to a stop with left shift. And then you'll see this arrow. It's facing uh, uh, to the top left on it. This is your top. This is what needs to be facing up in order for you to dock properly. So we're going to align that two up. And that's going to be using your Q and E keys. Okay, and now we're going to start to bring this into the other module. We're luckily already aligned up slightly, so we're just going to hit W a few little times here. And if you see yourself bobbing around like this a lot, like I'm doing on purpose on it, hit that left shift button. You'll bring yourself to a stop like that. We're gonna rotate again a little bit to try to realign. We're gonna strafe it a little bit. Okay, counter it. And it's all about just kind of slowly bringing it in and just try to keep yourself aligned as best as possible. Your entry point, is not as much as important as just getting it to your base at this point. So we're gonna lower ourselves down a little bit using that C key. Gosh, all this talk about this maneuvering just makes me feel like Bob Ross. No mistakes, only happy accidents. Okay, so we're gonna maneuver ourselves again. Left shift a little bit. So we can stop our little bob there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna slow ourselves down. We hit a little bit latency. So this is that latency I talked about before, what happens when you try to dock and you hit a little bit of latency. No biggie, we'll just kind of offset it again and get ourselves aligned up. But it does make things more difficult. You'll be perfectly aligned and everything will be going perfect and then just blah, you'll be just everywhere else that you don't wanna be. 
Okay, we're aligning, we're going in slowly. This is the point, go in slow. If you go too fast, you will transfer that motion to this object here. So we're aligned in and we should just naturally dock up like that. So now you've docked your module on it, you can use the airlock. But uh, let me get here. We're going to go through it and I will explain this. So this is your pressure system on it. This is what will keep you from losing your air. Um, so we're going to go up to it and I'll kind of explain it. This is your uh, pressurized, depressurize. It removes the air and stores it in a tank here. So what we want to do is we're going to depressurize this that way because we're coming from um, a zero atmosphere of space. So this will depressurize. We'll just sit here and you'll see that little pressured hazard that should disappear when it gets to about one one bar on it there it goes and what we'll do is we'll open this door here this is your outer door and we're going to go in now the last part of this i'll talk about the undocking feature too uh, d we're going to repressurize this object here um, bottom left of your screen, um, even though this isn't part of it, as soon as that turns white, you can remove your mask. I'll just remove it now, because I should be just fine. There's still no gravity in here, so we're going to open the door control. Um, actually, we're going to talk about the undocking real quick. So the undocking um, is, it will eject the object that it's touching um, further out from your structure. So if I hit this, it should theoretically do nothing because there's nothing attached to that door. But um, let's go inside of here. This pretty much is the end of your docking situation on it. It is all active and on, and you don't really, nothing else you need to do with this module. Um, a little fun fact though, inside of this module, there is a better spacesuit right here that lasts longer. And you can equip that. Um, if you don't know how to equip that, you can watch my inventory and kind of spacesuit tutorial on how to do that. Um, but once again, for undocking, um, if you do say dock your ship on that outer area, and let's say this was, say, a ship right here. Let us force close this so we don't to get ejected. And so what's going to happen here is as soon as I undock this, this should start to go out into space. Or it will make me a liar. A skeezy liar. That is very interesting. Is there a docking module here? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a docking module here too. So uh, this should jettison us out and it will be catastrophic. Yep. Because both doors were open. We, dish we kind of depressurized everything while we were in it. But that is how you dock and undock objects and your module on it. So hopefully that is of benefit.